If you guys like how I do my chart analysis on YouTube and you want to learn how to do it yourself, click the link below to check out the VTrades technical analysis course. What's up traders? This is VTrades and today I'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Virgin Galactic Holdings with the ticker symbol SPCE. If you want a chart analysis guaranteed to be done, please read the description below. Also take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. I appreciate it very much. This video is for entertainment purposes only, does not constitute any financial advice. I will first go over what I see in the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So is SPCE a hype stock or has the hype just gone away since uh, you can see that the price action just flatlining. So drop it down in the comments down below if this is a hype stock or not. So let's take a look at the daily chart. You can see this, you can see that after a large sell off, we have been just taking a break from the selling and going sideways. Uh, the $11 psychological level and this resistance point is not letting the bulls break it. So you can see this $11 level is acting as a resistance point and you can see this $7.40 level is acting as support. You can see that this $11 level is a strong resistance. We got rejected two times from it. And then every time we come back to the $7.40 level, we get a bounce and we see higher prices. So we're back at that low point again on this range. So is this gonna go up or down? Well, it's not that simple. Just because we're at the lower side of the range does not mean we always go back up to the upper side. Um, sometimes we have a downtrend in play, just like this one right here. See that all these price bars are inside of this orange downtrend channel and they're moving at the same angle down. So we're at a converging point. So we could break to the bottom side or the top side. So we have to wait and see uh, which one has more influence on the price. Is it gonna be the range support at the $7.40 level or is it gonna be the channel resistance uh, because we're right, right at it. So just like how we got rejected back here, once we touch the resistance side of the channel, is that, we're, is that what we're gonna do right here and then travel down and make a new all time low? Or are we gonna push up higher like we did back over here and have, have a massive rally? So we'll have to wait and see. Um, my prediction is probably gonna be probably to the upside. Uh, I know that's kind of shocking, uh, but earnings are coming up. So that's a nice catalyst to push up prices um, in either direction, a big swing. So we could see a bunch of short sellers trapped right here and uh, we could see the market reverse. Let's take a look at the overall pattern. The overall pattern um, has been down for the most part. Uh, however, we did have a break outside of this downtrend channel in a new low in place. So it does mark the end of the downtrend. And that's why we are starting to consolidate uh, because the downtrend is kind of over. The sellers um, are taking a break. They don't know uh, if we should continue selling the market or we're gonna see buyers step in. However, we're not seeing buyers step in and we're just taking a break and we have a new micro downtrend channel. So after the big orange downtrend channel, we had two legs down to a new low. This was the first leg down, this was the second leg down. And that's when we saw the biggest rally uh, in a while um, back here in March, because we had two legs down after the first break of a channel. And that's normally what you expect a large reversal back up or some sideways action, which what we're getting right now. So based on the technicals, uh, we are near the all time lows for the stock. Um, they could, the sellers could bring the market down a little bit more to stop out all the buyers right here and enter the $6.50 level. However, we are at a strong support, so this could be a short trap and we could see higher prices back up to that $11 level. Uh, we have to wait and see, the earnings are approaching. Uh, if we do break outside of this range, which eventually we will, we're not going to be always inside of this yellow pattern. Uh, where can we go? We can make a measured move out. And this is more of a medium term to a long term target. We're not going to reach the $14.40 level anytime soon, even though that's a potential target. Uh, that might take a couple months. However, to the bottom side, the target is right at the $3.76 level. And that could also take a couple of weeks. I believe that the downside, uh, we can get there quicker than the upside, just based on how bearish the market is. Uh, however, we are seeing some buying step in. You can see that today was a nice green candle. Uh, so we could see a little short term push up, probably back up to the EMA at the $8.43 level. 
and then right when earnings come that could be what the stock needs to gap up to the 11 all level or if the earnings are bad uh, we could drop down I mean sometimes you have good earnings and the price drops down uh, why it's mostly based on the technicals and sometimes you have really bad earnings and the stock goes up why uh, it's based off the technicals that gives you a stronger uh, prediction based on the technicals than just uh, assuming the earnings is gonna push up the market up or down so we had this downturn channel in play break outside of it two legs down to a new low uh, we saw a strong reversal back up but now we're just going sideways inside of this yellow range uh, because we're pretty much back at the same price we were in january uh, the 24th of january of this year so this is a range it's a roller coaster uh, we go up and down up and down but we come back at the same point we started so that's a range um, we are at strong support so we could see higher prices if we do continue higher we're gonna reach the 11 dollar level if we break down, we can make a new all-time low for the stock and maybe even eventually reach the $3.50 level. So that's my analysis on the daily chart. Let's go and wrap this up on the weekly chart. So basically, it's just a waiting game to see which way the market is going to go. I'm not entirely sure myself. Uh, we're not really trending in any particular direction, so it's hard to give this a um, confident target. So it's not all the time uh, you know exactly where prices are going. Sometimes... Um, it could go both ways, so uh, you're not sure. Sometimes you're not sure in the market and you just have to um, stand by. If you enter when you're not sure, most likely you're going to guess wrong. So I'm not really entirely confident where we're going. We are at pretty much the all-time lows for this stock. Uh, so the, technically we are at a strong support level. We could see higher prices, but um, just you can see that this downtrend channel and the, the bearish momentum is pretty strong too. So uh, we could break outside of this range, this potential large uh, range that we're inside of, and then continue much lower. Or we could see buyers step in, break outside of this EMA, pull back, find some type of support, and maybe form some type of uptrend. As of right now, it's way too early to call this a bottom. Uh, you can see that for this to be an uptrend, we need to make higher highs, higher lows. And we have not even made the first high yet. So this would be an uptrend pattern right here. And this is what you want to see. As of right now, we have not even made the impulse to the upside. So again, this is very early uh, to call this a bottom. It's premature. I would just say uh, the more safer bet is that we're just going to maybe just continue just sideways. Maybe something like this. Eventually, some type of catalyst push up, pushes up the market higher. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. But you guys know my near-term targets. If we break down to the lower side and we, can, and we continue lower, probably going to enter the $3 level. If we break up to the top side and stop out all the short sellers at the $11 target, probably going to reach the $14 level. If not, we could probably just stay within those uh, within these uh, bounds at the $7 and $11 level for a few months to even um, Q3, Q4 before we see some um, flights take off. So that's all I have for SPCE. Give you guys an update if anything else changes. Thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. Make sure to check out the rest of the channel since you might be surprised awake to learn. Leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed. Also share the video if you want your friends to learn about the markets. Lastly, I appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since I want to deliver great content to you guys. See you next time and bye.